Where's that treasure map? Good morning, everybody. It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you on Monday morning. Man, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know that I did for sure. Uh, look, silver. It's still sitting down at 23.30, I think I just saw it. Uh, it still looks like time to buy to me anyway. Um, but the major story today, Mrs. Pirate Stacker was out of town for the weekend. She came back with a whole load of treasure chests for me, which I love. Look at this little guy. He's got the Jolly Roger on it. I went ahead and put my poured pieces in there. Which it's nice that it is so small because I don't have very much treasure. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. I dig it. Now I got to get more poured silver. So that's a neat one. This of course is my $10 challenge box. We'll have to see what we get in that this week. And then the big one. Look at that. Went and put my air tights in there. So now I feel like I'm rich. I feel like I got a real treasure box. Obviously, we're still looking for that big one, but in the meantime, thank you, Mrs. Pirate Stacker. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. We better get started with a, a cheers to her today. Pop that cork. Yes. Whoop. Man. Cheers to you, Mrs. Pirate Stacker. Mm. Thank you for putting up with all my grief. Uh, today, first, we are going to be talking about... Collectible silver versus stacking silver. I know I talked to you a little about uh, silver I stack. Would you look at this? So we got a letter today from Millennial Stacker, my friend. You guys shoot him some uh, stickers and whatnot. He's Canadian. He loves it. And it looks like I got a bag full of... They look to be the size of Canadian quarters. Hold on, I think he actually put on here what it is. Four by 1967 Canadian quarters. Very cool. Millennial Stacker, I sent you a package out that should be arriving any time. It feels like it was forever ago. But I'm gonna have to look into these. So I'm thinking these are either the 50% or the 80% silver. They're very cool. I appreciate the treasure. Millennial Stacker. Great channel. He's who I'm doing the $10 challenge with, with. Which actually we've got a bunch more people that are joining in. So that is awesome. Thank you for that Millennial Stacker. That is going into my permanent stack. Very cool. Uh, let's get into today's topic. So we kind of went over before about the stacking that I've been doing. I've been trying to get the cheaper stuff in. That's your constitutional, your buffalo rounds, your maple leaves, Krugerrand, stuff like that, the staples. Um, now, I also do have a section that I'm trying to get some collectible stuff in. Now, personally, I'm not collecting to have collectibles. I am collecting collectibles or semi numismatic if you will I'm collecting that stuff to flip down the road stuff that I think will be worth more than it is now stuff that I think will be able to sell for a premium then I can use that money to buy more silver and widen my stack now I may be thinking too long term I have a smaller stack I should probably not get too much of that and I feel like I already did buy quite a bit of that stuff so I am thinking that uh, I will ease up on that but what is collectible what is the stuff well that's the stuff that you're paying any kind of premium on you know and uh, and not everything is a good buy you know some people will charge more for stuff that 
doesn't have a limited minage or doesn't come, you know, that isn't very rare and you just get duped. So you want to be smart about what you're buying. One of my favorite pieces, I believe is collectible, my Yeti coin. Now this guy is number 898 of one 1,000 pieces or, or 999 pieces, which I think that's awesome. I think that's collectible. I don't think that you're going to be able to find these for very long. Come next year, they're going to be tough. So I picked it up. I speculated. And, and I think that'll be something that pays off in the long run. Now, by then, I may not be able to get rid of it because I love that piece. Uh, slab pieces. Now, these ones my son sent for, to me, but I did actually recently picked up a slabbed uh, American Silver Eagle. And that was me speculating. Now, I like these in the collection in general, but if you're stacking, this is not what you're trying to buy. Not at all. Um, these, obviously, that I just picked up. These go under the collectible category. You know, this isn't stacker stuff. Now, at the time when I bought these, silver was high. The premium didn't seem that bad. So that's why I picked them up. And, uh, and I figured down the road I could flip those for a profit. And that's kind of the game. You know, obviously poured stuff all has a premium. That stuff is collectible to people that are looking for it. They'll pay more for that. You know, so that's another way. If you're just stacking, poured's not where it's at. And then, of course, the pieces that I love. Obviously, the Zoot Dorp that I gave away. That's a really cool piece. I'm speculating that that's collectible. Uh, the Kraken is another one. Anything that's coming out of a series like this, uh, that I think is going to be collectible. Plus, it's just a really pretty piece. You know, so that's another one. Uh, these dragon bars that I just traded for, these are out of a series. I traded these for with fish. Uh, these are going to be collectible. You can't find them already. So the value goes up. And that's what we're talking about. Collectibles versus your bulk. This would just be bulk of Britannia. You know, this is good stacking fodder. This is excellent for stacking. Same thing here with uh, the kangaroo. An excellent stacker. These aren't going to get collectible premiums on them ever at all, you know. But the Marvel coins, we've already seen those shoot up. I got a Hulk in here somewhere. The Marvel coins, heck, Black Panther died. His coins started going for 100 bucks. That was previously selling for like 45 or so. Uh, you know, that's a perfect example. That is collectible stuff. So... My personal strategy, and of course I'm not a financial advisor, but my personal strategy has always been to have a fraction of my stack be towards collectibles or semi-numismatic, and that's the stuff that I intend to flip one day. You know, I'm not looking for five-year flips. I'm looking more like something I can flip next year, but I want to be picking up stuff this year to flip next year. I want to be picking up stuff next year to be flipping the year after. So I do want to have a constant influx of pieces here and there that I can turn around and, and flip and make a buck off of. And then of course that Somali elephants coin that we just did a, did a, did a video about that one down the road, you know, that, that may not be a one year flip. That may be something I sit on in three years from now or four years from now. It's worth it to me to pull that out and do something with it. So, yeah, that's that's all it is. Hey, everybody has a style. There is no right or wrong answer on this stuff. But uh, this is just a little bit of my info or what I'm doing and what I think about to you guys. I love all of it. Truth be told, I try to get less collectibles and I fail miserably because every time I see something new and shiny, I'm like, I want it. I want it. But uh, one thing that is very cool, my treasure chest, Mrs. Pirate Stacker knocked it out of the park on that. Millennial Stacker, thank you for the silver. These are very cool. I don't have any Canadian coinage in my stack, so I'm grateful. Uh, you guys rock. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good Monday. Let me know what you think. Are you a collector? Are you a stacker? I know we've talked about it a few times. 
you know, I've come to realize that as little as I know, there are channels that, you know, new, new stackers that are new like me that know even less. And if you've landed on my page and you have questions, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to share my limited knowledge with you. We're just here having a good time. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic week. Pirate Stacker out.